What are you doing? Oh, I'm trying to record more sounds with the Cork CM300 contact microphone. If you watched one of our previous shorts, then you saw it already, it works with water. But now we're here in Seoul and we're trying to find more sounds exterior that we can record with this $15 contact microphone. Now, if you're wondering, hey, Marcel, Libby, why haven't you done so many YouTube videos lately? And that's because we do a lot more on Instagram, to be honest. So if you're just here and you wait for videos, please don't wait. Head over to our Instagram account. We do daily stories because we are out every single day recording sounds and also exploring the city. So make sure that you follow us there if you don't want to wait for more content, especially from Korea. And I think we found the first sound that we can record here as a vent with a mesh. And now, because we have this clamp, let's just clamp it on and see how it sounds like. Got the vibration, yes. All right, so this is like the first without anything, but what happens if I press it together a little bit more? See, then we have a complete different sound, right? Now let's listen. Not too bad. And if you record sounds like this, so in my imagination, it sounds like a train, right? Like a So any sound designer can probably create something completely different. And for $15, I think, you get a great sound. And if you think, ah, oh, but there was like this crackle. Hey, if you record sounds like this, I think that everything goes. Let's see what else you can find. All right, I found another sound right here in the same area. So you see, that's what happens. So I'm warming up a little bit. Sometimes it's when you start, you always think, oh, where should I start? And then you just start somewhere and then you get the inspiration while you're doing it. Now we have the train here. Oh, there's just so much going on. So, but what I'm trying to record is just like the sound of the gate. So let's turn this on. So now we're on and but you can hear this, it's not interferent. It's just like a hum that probably because of all the electronics here. But also when you talk, so that means we also have to be quiet when we're recording these sounds. If you're wondering, yes, this is how I walk around all the time with a sling bag. And in the sling bag, that's where I have my handheld equipment with me. For example, the Zoom H1N, the Tascam X8, or any other smaller items. For example, the contact microphone or the geophone. I just keep this in here. And then when I need it, I can just take it out very quick. Instead of, you know, 
always open up the big bag and taking out the stuff. This is just for, you know, this called like a pickup sound. You know, when the train comes and I don't have time, I open it up and then I click it on. Also, what I do with this recorder is I never turn it off. I always have it on. And then this time, if for example, there's an ambulance, then I just turn it on and then it tuck and then I can start recording. Instead of, oh, there's an ambulance or there's something else, turn it on, takes forever. That's why I always keep it on. So make sure you have some extra batteries. Now we just discovered the boat here next to the Han River. Also the weather today is absolutely fantastic. It's not too hot, not too cold. It's right in the middle. And here in front of us is a called like ruder position. So we are uh, turning this left and right and it creates this wonderful uh, rolling sounds. Like this is nice. And what we're trying to do is we try to find a place where we can put the contact microphone. I think this one is good. Wow. Now, if you're wondering, yes, that's the Hangang Railway Bridge. And this is the first ever bridge that spanned over the Han River. So I found an area here where I can attach it, attach it, and I hope it sounds nice. If not, I do have other contact microphones, but I would also just record this as an ambience. Of course, not when the train passed by, but now let's just listen and hope that we can find something. Also this here, the clicks, clack, clack. There's more inside the cockpit. Ah, in other places, a boat like this would be already destroyed. Oh, yes, that sounds nice. Okay. <laughs> now, while I was listening to it and recording, I immediately thought about the sound that we recorded in Bangkok, you know, when we put the hydrophone in the water and then you have the engine sound underwater, it sounds very similar. So many trains. Let's move on. <laughs> Now, if you have a contact microphone and you want to record a bell or you need a bell, but then you're in a space like this, then you know you can't just use any kind of microphone because you don't want the ambience. And for the, oops, and for this, it's good to have a contact microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Now, can you imagine you are in front of an old gate somewhere in the Great Britain and they open the gate, you know? You make this really big. You know, when they have the huge gates and then they have these massive chains. It's almost the same, right? <laughs> And you know, there are several other bicycles here, so you can just go around to any bicycle and try to find a different tone, a different bell sound. But this is nice. You can do it fast, slow, really fast. Whoa. Can you just not talk for a little bit so then they can actually hear? Ah, okay. Perfect. And for this, again, $15. And you can record the sound without getting all the ambience in the background. Ta da! So we all know if we would put on the geophone here, then we would definitely get some really dark sounds. But can we also record a similar sound with a very cheap contact microphone like the Korg CM300? I do have to say I have the gain up plus 50 dB here. Wow. So let's just listen to it really quick and hope that there's a bus coming or anything that reproduces a really loud sound. Now, as you can tell already in the distance, the sun is about to set. But for us, this is not the end. Libby and I, we're going out tonight recording more sounds. And why am I saying this is because if you don't want to wait for new content here on our YouTube channel, always make sure that you follow us on our Instagram account at Freedio Sounds. Not just because we're creating daily content, reels, photos, all this cool stuff, but also daily Insta story. So whenever we're out there, we're documenting this. And then we're also saving these as highlights. So then you can always rewatch. And we show you areas of Seoul that you probably have never seen before. Because if you record sounds, you just go to very different places where most of the tourists don't go. But talking a little bit more about this Cork contact microphone, I'm pretty happy that I bought it. Again, $15 is not a lot of money. And uh, I was very surprised to see the quality. I think it's great for what you get. We have another video about the contact microphone, about the AKG C411 PP. And this was about $150, $160. And if you want to check that out, feel free to click this link right here. And we filmed this in Hong Kong, what is definitely one of my favorite places on earth. But Seoul is definitely a place that has a big spot in my heart. It is definitely one of the places that make you speechless whenever you come here. Libby and I, we're walking here probably between 15 and 30,000 steps every single day. And when you do this, then you explore so much and you really fall in love with the city like that. Now, again, talking a little bit more about the contact microphone, there are different things that I also like about it that did, not, did I not mention in this video. And this is about the cabling. I remember having a, a contact microphones that when you touch the cable, you have this handling noise. If you use this one, of course, if you touch it like this, you have handling noise. But if you just move it around a little bit, there will be no 
major handling noises. I know on the Geophone there's a lot of handling noise, it's, it's way more sensitive of course, but again, $15, if you start your field recording journey or you are a sound designer, young beginners, but you don't want to spend too much money, there's nothing wrong with this one. It does not have an XLR, but you can always get an adapter. This is, I think it's called like a quarter inch. So you can plug it into any kind of recorder that has it. The Zoom F6 does not have a quarter inch input. So you have to make sure that you, if you have one that you get an adapter if you want to use it. Otherwise for $15, you can't make anything wrong. And if it comes to sound recording, especially if it's a raw material like this, there's no right and wrong. You know, you record what it is. If it has a lot of noise, well, every noise is also texture, right? So it's all up to you. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this little tour here around Seoul. And we hope we see you either here on our YouTube channel or over at Free Your Sounds on Instagram.